So, uh, one of our users here on YouTube asked me to show the actual flakes. Um, and this actually will be a little tutorial for those who, uh, want to know how you prove that you have graphene. Um, this is actually the image. This is, this is graphene right here. This is a giant flake right here. And these are other flakes and stuff like that. And you can see that right in here... Here you go. So you'll get you'll get these bands of uh, depth, and then here you go. These are actually the individual flakes, and that's like 2.16 to 13.77 nanometers, and that's how they're profiling. And if you can see down here, you can see where the edge down here, and it'll come up here. Now that can be irregularities in the uh, mica or whatever but it's not it's not that big of a deal but that's that's a good example to start with but here is where it gets even more hilarious um here is if you know uh this is with acetone as a solvent on lacy carbon grid and if you're a real science nerd you probably know how expensive a lacy carbon grid is and here's an example of an individual flake right here it's folded in half and kind of laying on itself and we'll get into that but this this is what matters right here it's this one two three four five six that that thing right there uh, on the refractory shows that it's uh, graphene um, and then here you go here's closer edge and if you can see that's 500 nanometers which is very small and you can see how the edge of the flakes are, you know, right there. Um, and then this is 50 nanometers, and it gets, now you're looking at, like, atoms. And that's the edge. You can barely see it. It's actually on the phone, hilarious enough, that I'm looking at in the video that you're seeing. It has a better contrast between the, the edges. Um, let's see if we can get more and then you can get all the way down to 20 nanometers and you can see the edge of there and that perfect one two three four five six you know that hexagonal uh refractory um that's very important and then here is another afm images and you can see this is it looks like a topographical map and the line and you'll see there's a little let's see that line right there is where that topographical map right here shows where everything's at. And then you have literally, you know, down here, one, two, three, four, and then bumps and stuff like that. And that's where flakes are sitting, either rolled or whatnot. And then here's another example. This is two nanometers in height right here. If you can see this band, a little bit over two nanometers. Uh, and then over here, here's another part of the flake, and that is actually an individual, that's probably a two atom thick uh, individual flake right there, sitting there. And there's another one right there, and actually that is probably, this one, well no, actually that's the, the ridge floor. But this one is uh, s less high than that one, so that gives you an idea. And then you can get down into here. This is when it, you really get into there. This is actually in the 10 nanometer range. Uh, but this is what this is, is just another series. And what that is, if you see these little dark spots, that's actually thinner than whatever, than the edge. So it's kind of, if you think about it, it's rolled up here. It's, it's, the flake is rolling up, and then it's touching the shelf. And you can see that's, that's exactly what it says, is that the flake is just rolled up and down, up and down, up and down, and then the edge goes whoop, like that. So that's a, and that's a pretty big um, flake, actually. Uh, that is uh, right around, what is that? Eight, and that's seven, seven uh, UM. And then you get even closer, and there you can see even tighter into the field of view um, and that is just one one thing and then you can see parts of it down here really low and then it's curling up and flipping up and over it's 
how the AFM works is really neat. It's kind of like a little needle, like a record needle, that goes across and just bounces up and down and sees exactly what you got, what you got here. And then this is another one. This is this is actually what this is is actually uh, tattering of uh, material. Um, that's like that's almost like a polymer chain. Uh, I'm gonna tell you that that's that's uh, too much processing and stuff like that. But then you have this material over here, uh, right there. So it's kind of neat to see what the AFM does. Now let's see. Do I have my other folder? Ah, here's the characterization data, and here's some more of that. Uh, let's see. There it is. This is a big, uh, nice, uh, uh, I think, SEM image um, of the material. And you'll see this big flake. And you can see this is like one atom thick right over here. You know, this real thin stuff. And then there'll be like, it'll be folded over, or that'll be folded over on itself. Um, and this is all some of the same image right here that's just farther away and you can see it it's like a piece of paper folded up you know or saran wrap is actually more of a uh, applicable analogy so it's a it's a very very neat material let's see here I think that's all of the little things that I have of like right now that uh, we can really show you except for maybe the world champion picture this one uh, and this giant heart here I'll I'll pull it up as a uh, that's that's actually got the scan floor on there and you know this heart picture is just a one big flake um, it's not actually that big it's only about what is that? That's uh, about four nanometers in diameter. I mean, four microns in diameter. Um, or UM, whatever you want to say. Uh, but you can see that it's 0 0.02 to 1.9 right through here. This is the cord of it. Uh, and this is like literally the highest part. And you can see how this flake is just sitting here. And then it folds up. It's it bends up a little bit right here, and that's actually the the fold upward. Um, but that that's an individual flake right in there. Uh, that's a really good uh, presentation of what we see a lot of, um, and so that can kind of give you an idea of what graphene looks like for real, uh, or at least flake powder. There are a lot of different companies and everything that'll sell you. And think about this: this is ten to the negative three, so you know we're talking very, very small. But there are a lot of companies that sell. You know, when when we talk about this is the ramen data actually, but uh, there there's companies out there. No, nope, that's not what we're trying to do. Uh, that will sit there and try to. This is the fresh cleave mica uh, pictures, actually, and the the you see this. This is you know seven nanometers at the top peak of any band of the spectrum on here. So the if the if the flake is sitting here and doing this and, and like laying kind of like like sideways or something like that, you'll you'll have this. You know you'll have it like laying up there and and reaching up. Which is fine, whatever. That's that's not a big deal. But even seven nanometers, uh, if if that was the cord of the entire flake, that would be bad news. Uh, we can tell it's not that because the individual flakes are sitting a certain way and blah 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 blah. Um, there's been a lot of extensive looking at uh, that, but there are literally people who are selling stuff. You know, you can go online right now and you can look and see 40, 60, 80, 120 nanometers in thickness. And I'm going to tell you, if if you're above 20, you're definitely not making graphene. 
Um, 20 nanometers is pretty, that's a lot of, I mean, it's hard to, to get the thickness and justify that. Um, because really, after 10 layers, it's just no-go. And remember, a single layer is between 0.3 to 0.5 nanometers. There's a kind of weird thing about whether or not they're sitting. And then, and then you got your minimum shelf right here, and then you get to see, you know, that that's where the AFM can kind of show you what's going on, because obviously this is not a square block, um, and when they when the flakes are sitting in like uh, like a shell uh, like a shingle array like this, you know, you're getting a little bit different going, uh, different things going on here. And we have a bunch more images. You know, obviously this is this is what it actually looks like uh, in a huge scale, like far, far away. Um, and, it, and it's like tons and tons and tons and tons of single flakes. And then you get in there and then you see these single flakes. And, and look at that. I mean, these are just... This is what, you know, this is what it really looks like. That stuff where you'll see a neat effect... Uh, on top of water, where you say, oh, look at that, it looks like a really thin layer. You don't even realize that that's 100 layers thick, or 200 layers thick, because the naked eye just does not process this stuff. It just doesn't happen. Um, gosh, this is a long video, and I'm sorry about that, but that is, uh, that's the state of how things work. Um... You don't use an a, 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 AFM. You're just not able to tell. You can't. You can't use your eyeballs and see this stuff. It's much too small. Um, that's just. That's just how life works. So uh, thanks a lot and have a good day.